one. Okay. Which works out nice anyway because of our working grades. So. All right, so now we are going to tally each data value according to class. So this is when we start to go put our data in the bin. So, so I have a 60, so 60 would go Okay, so we have six in the first class, and we have 11. 11, but I'm not supposed to have 11. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't. I'm supposed to have 10. I know I got an extra one right here. I knew I did that. And I just could fix it. Okay, the rest of them are right. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So the next thing you do is. So now you just sum your tally marks, get your actual frequency. So it's supposed to be 6, 10, 13, 8, 5, 6, and 2. And when you sum all of those, there were 50 scores, so it should total 50. If it doesn't, that means you missed one somewhere. But that little sign is a sigma, a capital sigma. Holy Lord. And it just means to sum. You see a lot in statistics that think they just want it to look fancy. So, and the little F next to it just means frequency. So the sum of the frequencies is 50. And it should be because they gave us 50 data points to begin with. So always double check yourself, count, make sure that you, um, that you have everything. If you don't, you almost have to start over. Uh, 50 data points, like if I give you one of these on a test, I will not give you 50 data points because that, that's too many for you to have to like go back and forth. It's when we're, when we're all doing it together and we can all kind of go, is that what you got? Then it's not so bad, but... All right, 